Good morning. Good morning. Just two real quick things. Uh, excited to be here this morning. The first thing I wanted to do was I wanted to say thank you. Uh, you may recall that toward the end of June, we had a guest presenter here at church, uh, Mitch Siegel, who runs the Veterans Employment Program at Catholic Charities. The support that Mitch and his program received from this parish is nothing short of amazing. Donations, bicycles, you may recall, Mitch has a bicycle program and a computer laptop program to help remove barriers to employment for veterans in Lake County. We've received donations, we've received bicycles, we've received computers, and it goes on to this day. Just this past Friday, we were going back and forth with a parishioner here via email regarding a laptop that she and her husband wanted to, to donate. We also had a request from a parishioner to volunteer with the program. So if Mary Jo Kunzman is watching, uh, first know that you and Ralph are in our prayers and we look forward to the day when you can join us uh, as a volunteer with Mitch's program. Second, it seems like I start stories about St. Francis de Sales the same way. They usually go like this. One day, I was having lunch at Gianni's with Father Ryan. Um, and we were talking and he asked me what I was working on that I was excited about, what was I spending my time on that I was worked up about, and I told him about this incredible program that was run by Catholic Charities in Lake County called the Diaper Depot, and, and, and shared with him, like with most well-run organizations or programs, I told him about the wonderful man who runs that program, Don Ros Rosanova. Don is a volunteer with the Ign Ignatian Volunteer Corps, who raised his hand to lead this program for Catholic Charities. As Father mentioned, he's former president of Mariano's Grocery Stores, so very well qualified to run this, our little distribution business. And so Father said, I want to meet Don. Meeting was set, and that led to this invitation this morning for Don to address this group. We're holding a diaper drive for the next couple of weeks. The bins are in the back. Um, and um, we appreciate it very much. And so it is my privilege. I'm excited to introduce you to my friend, Don Rosanova. Well, good morning, everybody. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to live up to everything that was already said about me. It's sort of pretty tall order. But uh, first thing I'd like to do is thank Father Ryan. Thank you for uh, your support, believing in the Diaper Depot and everything that you've done for us. Can I, uh, this is a little participation, can I see a show of hands? How many of you have changed diapers? <laughs> ah, we got a good crowd here today. So uh, everyone that raised their hand, I'd like for you to be an advocate for diaper need. Can I have the next slide, please? We have a health crisis that actually exists in the United States, and it's called diaper need. Over five million babies are experiencing this condition. This is one of the best kept secrets in our society. Can I see the next, next slide, please? So what is diaper need? Diaper need is when a baby needs to be changed and the parent or the caregiver does not have a clean, fresh diaper to put on the baby. It's sort of like the picture that you see on the right. You run out of toilet paper and we don't have the funds to buy it. So what the parents are doing that experience a diaper need they're actually reusing diapers, washing out disposable diapers, using newspaper, plastic bags, and paper towels. Can I have the next slide? <coughs> Diaper need is not something that's new. This, there's been studies that have been conducted by Huggies and the National Diaper Network since 2010 
all the way through June of 2023, and there was one in three families that could not put fresh diapers on their children. However, in July of this year, a new study was taken. And sorry to say, the statistic has gone up. 47%, or one out of every two families, cannot put fresh, clean diapers on their child. And this is hitting every income group. Just to give you an idea of how much diapers cost annualized, it's about $1,500 a year. And of course, that depends what size diaper you're buying, where you're buying a diaper from. So it's approximately $1,500. Can I have the next slide? Diaper need impacts not only the babies. The babies, of course, are getting diaper rash, urinary tract infection. It's hard for them to walk because they have disposable diapers that have been washed out. They're heavy. The kids can't move. It's hard for them to walk be and crawl because they have infections or rashes. And the other thing that happens is they don't have the ability to socialize because they can't go to daycare or preschool because they don't have the diapers. Parents, they experience a tremendous amount of stress because they cannot fill the needs of their children. They might lose their child. They have high medical expenses, the loss of work and education opportunities because they can't provide a diaper for their caregiver. Families are doing without. They're skipping meals. They do laundry less often. They avoid purchases like clothing. They have no free time. They're working multiple jobs. No time to unwind. Next slide, please. Because of the lack of diapers, 25% of the parents are missing 5.1 days of work out of 30 days. They also miss classes, classes that they're taking to get ahead so they could advance their career. And many of them are in jeopardy of losing their job because they're absent from work. And it's very hard to get promoted when you're not at work every day. And here's a, a point that many don't know. There is no governmental agency that provides diapers. WIC does not provide diapers. SNAP does not provide diapers. And EBT does not provide diapers. So if you're a parent experiencing diaper need, it's pretty stressful because you can't see a way out. Next slide. One of the ministries that we have at Catholic Charities in Lake County is we operate a diaper bank. And as a diaper bank, we serve over 30 partners in, in Lake County, both internal Catholic charity organizations and external partners. These partners work directly with the parents. They meet the parents on a monthly basis. They find out how many children they have, how much they weigh, how old they are. They collect all that information, figuring out what size diapers they need. And they provide us an order on a monthly basis. So the last Friday of every month, all our partners are providing us an order at Catholic Charities. There, our volunteers, which uh, Tom is a terrific volunteer, uh, we select the orders, put the orders together for each one of the uh, groups, and then we actually load up the cars and they bring the, their, the product, the diapers, back to their facilities and distribute the diapers to, their, to the parents. We provide 50 diapers per child uh, that figure was determined by a lot of the studies that were conducted by the National Diaper Network. Parents actually said we have enough diapers up until basically the last week of the month. So that's why we come up with 50 diapers. Through our 30 partners that we work with, we put fresh, clean diapers on about four to 500 babies each month. 
This year, we will ship over a quarter of a million diapers. And yes, uh, we can use your help. First, I ask, please pray for us because this is a very expensive ministry. Second, please make people aware of this issue that's, that exists, this diaper need that nobody talks about. Third, if you can influence anybody in state legislation that can help us provide some help to the parents in diaper need, please reach out to them. And if you can conduct your own diaper drive, we could always use sizes fives and sixes. And fourth, of course, I'm gonna ask you for a donation. You knew I wouldn't be here if I didn't ask you for a donation, right? Well, the reason I'm asking you for a donation, uh, we belong to the diaper network and we're able to purchase diapers for half the retail price. So we're able to stretch the dollar a lot further, plus we are a charitable organization and we don't pay taxes. And fifth, if you know someone that is experiencing diaper need and they don't know what to do, please have them reach out to us at Catholic Charities and we'll be able to provide a resource for them. Next slide, please. Please know that every dollar that you give, it goes to purchasing diapers. It doesn't go to administration costs or any supply costs. It goes strictly for, di for diapers. You know, I have, uh, I've taken a personal interest in this. I don't know if you could tell or not. Uh, and the reason, I always think of my daughters and how I would feel if I wasn't able to provide diapers for my daughters and how it might have impacted their life on a go-forward basis. So I really want to help people that are experiencing diaper need. You know, I do feel that we are called. We're called to love one another, to serve each other, to give hope, and to be a light for those in need. Help us place clean, fresh diapers on God's babies. Thank you very much. Amen.